Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna be doing something a little different and a little out of my comfort zone. Usually I don't wear um, a lot or any makeup at all. And today, since it's um, we're all in quarantine, I decided that I would not only do my makeup but also put on an outfit that I normally wouldn't wear. I'm going to wear one of my old homecoming dresses from like five years ago. Also, Dom doesn't know that I'm doing this, so I'm gonna get his reaction to what I look like and how I'm dressed on film, so you guys can see too. So I'm pretty excited. And please, no one come after me for my terrible makeup skills. Let's just get that out of the way. They're gonna be horrible. But anyway, come along with me on this journey, makeup journey. I'm gonna learn what I like. I don't have a lot of makeup. I'm gonna use Mega Honey Highlighter. Oh wow, look, I'm already a beauty guru. And then, so I think, I think the highlighter goes like right here, and here, and here, and here maybe, I don't know. And then this Anastasia, eyeshadow palette that I bought like two years ago so hopefully it's still I hopefully I can still use it these are the colors I kind of like the darker like orangish 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 colors on me and then I have the voluminous original mascara is that focusing yeah there we go I have Revlon Candid Photo Ready Antioxidant Concealer 2. I believe that goes like under your eyes. Is I think that's the thing where you do like the V shape, right? I don't know. I have no idea what I'm doing. And then some brushes. I don't know what these are for. And an eyelash curler so kind of like a simple makeup look not really like any foundation because I don't have that but okay so I decided to straighten my hair first just to kind of get that out of the way so here is kind of how it looks definitely need to get a haircut soon because I have a lot of dead ends so I'm gonna start by tying my hair back so I'm not really sure a lot of people say that they do eye makeup first okay so I'm going to do this color and this color I think I'm not following any like particular tutorial I'm just kind of doing whatever okay here it goes nothing and I know that this like totally isn't an eyeshadow brush and I can't really see what I'm doing because the little like viewfinder is super small this looks creepy oh my gosh Okay, I might be blind, but I feel like this actually looks kind of good. Please don't come at me for this. This is not a tutorial. This is just something that I'm doing for fun. Kind of tickles. Whew. That looks pretty good. This one seems a little darker, but that's okay. We'll live. Okay. I'm gonna do this on the outer. And... Oh god. I see a lot of people like blend with their finger. <whistles> I 
I think this looks pretty good. So how are you guys doing with all of this um, coronavirus stuff that's been going on? I'm taking it pretty seriously. Um, I, there's a lot of people that are getting infected and, and, and if I can stop the spread of it as best as I can by staying home, then that is what I'm going to do. And my job, oh my gosh, guys. Starbucks is seriously, oh my gosh. Did I get that? Good enough. Starbucks is seriously the best company to work for because they're giving us two weeks paid off if we want, which is what, is what I'm on now. And then they sent out an email to the partners and they were like, oh, also we have 30 days on top of that two weeks paid if you want it. Like who freaking, that's insane. That's so, so incredible. Um, I don't know if this all cools down and so I, I started my two weeks last Thursday, so I go back next Thursday, wait, am I doing the math right? Yeah, so I'll go back next Thursday because today is Monday of the following week. I think I'm doing that right. Yeah. Um, but so if all this cools down, I'm probably just going to end up going back to work. Um, hopefully it'll cool down. Um, it's so sad, all these people that, and my grandma, she had a heart attack about a year and a half ago, and it really just like affected my whole family, and we're super worried about her, and she's retired, but she has like a little part-time job, and we keep telling her like, grandma, stay home, stay home, it's not worth it for you to be out, like, you get two weeks paid if you want to stay home and like quarantine yourself because you're high risk. She's like, no, I want to work, and so she's just been really, really stubborn, but that's my grandma for you. Hopefully, us continuing to tell her that she needs to take time off, she'll do it. Oh. I definitely didn't get my lashes, did I? But anyway, I hope all of you guys are staying safe during this time. And comment below, let me know um, what your guys' jobs are doing to help you guys kind of get through this tough time. A few of my friends um, have gotten laid off and I just feel so bad for them. If I had the money I would help them, but I could feed them, I have a lot of food, but that's just because we love Costco and we're always stocked, so we were pre-stocked, but we weren't one of those to go get like a ton of toilet paper. We actually order our toilet paper and paper towels and stuff through Boxed, so right before all this happened we had, a, we had gotten like a huge order from Box, so we already had a lot of toilet paper. And then this happened and we were like, thank goodness we don't need to get toilet paper. What did I just do? Okay. Okay, so I just did the eyeshadow. I think this looks really good. And it, I've been tanning recently. I don't know if you can tell. I kind of look washed out. But this is my tan line. Crazy. I was this color and now I'm this color. And I was wearing sunscreen. I just tanned super easily. Okay, so I did the eyeshadow. I just curled and prepped the lashes, so now I'm going to put mascara on. I'm really bad at putting mascara on, but we're just going to get through this. I miss having lashes so much, but it's just so expensive. Also, I don't know the best way to put mascara on. Let me know in the comments, because I've seen a lot of like this stuff, like where you go like that. Oh, and then they were also saying that the virus can live 
on dogs, which is really scary because I have three dogs looking to get another one. We got a, or I saw this message on my friend's Snapchat from a post on Facebook um, saying that they were going to be putting a lot of dogs down if you can't like rescue them. And I saw that after the deadline to adopt them and I'm so, so heartbroken. But if you guys are just chilling at home, working from home and you have like some space in your house or you don't have dogs or you're looking to see if a, a dog would be a good fit for you, I totally recommend fostering. I think that's a great way to just help out with the community and it, it just like gives you a nice spot for the dogs to to rest instead of in a cage. My end goal is to live on a farm and just rescue a lot of dogs and have chickens, but it also costs a lot of money to do that. But that's the end goal. I'll get through med school and then residency and then I think it's called a fellowship after that um, unless some spe specialties don't have a fellowship I'm not totally sure but get through that pay off my student loans and then get to be able to buy a farm and live on a farm with my whole family and have just like oh gosh that's not good and have like little casitas everywhere for them to live in if they would please I've always wanted to spend the most amount of time with my family. And honestly, I when you're like a teenager, you don't really think about like hanging out with your family and we're just going off on a bunch of different tangents today. But you don't really think about like hanging out with your family and checking up on them. It's kind of something that like slips your mind especially with all the pressure of being a teenager in high school and everything that you have to go through, but being out of high school and talking to my family more and having like actual family functions again has made me realize like how much I just like live for that connection with them because they really are the world to me. And I wouldn't be half the person I am today without my amazing family. I should have got out a Q-tip. One moment, stand by. Okay, really gross TMI. Normally, I just like lick my Q-tips, but for the sake of this, I'll uh, just wet it with some water, so. Oh, gosh. Maybe I can put concealer right there. Yeah, we're just gonna put more concealer on that. Maybe a little more eyeshadow. Okay, what was I saying? Back to what I was saying. If you guys are watching this, aka my family, I love you guys and I miss you guys. And yeah, we're my goal is for all of us to live on a farm together. If you can handle my horridness at makeup. This is fun though, you know what I mean? Okay, now it is concealer time and I'm super excited about this part because I have really bad eye bags and I bought this like one of those um, jade rollers or I didn't buy it, my grandma got it for me for Christmas and it's, oh my gosh, I'm just gonna get it, I'm just gonna show you, I'll be back. Okay, so these are the little, I put them in the freezer so that they're cold. But there's two heads to it. So there's this one, which is for your under eyes, and then this one, which you just like roll over here. And then you just attach it to this little stick. Hopefully the battery is good. Okay, and then you just turn it on and it vibrates. So you just turn it on and it vibrates. I don't know if you can hear that. 
and then you just like roll your face out and it honestly it feels so good and it wakes you up I used to do this I don't know why I say used to I still do this when I open in the mornings at my job we wake up at like 3 and then this is just something that I like to do like super quick because I have to be there by 3.30 But I only live like 10 minutes away, which is kind of nice. Oh, so soothing. Putting this in the freezer is seriously the best. Okay, enough of that. I'm going to go in with this concealer now. Continuing to talk about random things I don't know we used to not have family gatherings together for a while and then last year we had so many together and it was amazing it made my heart so happy I look like a cloud I hope this isn't too light for my face I'm gonna go out like a little bit more. So we had, I'm trying to think of what we had. Last year we did um, Thanksgiving, which was a big one, and that was seriously so much fun just to see all of them together. And then recently, um, we all went to the farm, which if you live in Arizona, it's the farm at South Mountain. It's such an amazing place. They have, it's kind of like, they have two restaurants there. They have like, it's called Quisense, Quisense, and I think that's a little cafe. And then they have Morning Glory. I've seen a lot of people do like this. So, those are the two restaurants there, and Morning Glory is kind of like, you sit down and you have a waiter, and then... Quisance, I'm saying that so wrong, I know I am, is like, um, they have like their menu, and you kind of like walk through and you can pick like a fruit salad, and then you can pick like your actual salad, they have different kinds of teas, kombucha, which is an A plus from any place that has kombucha, because I love kombucha, um, they have like, and everything, they have, it's like an actual farm, like they pick fruits, that they grow and they pick vegetables that they grow and it's just it's it's wonderful if you guys are ever in arizona you have to check it out it's called the farm i'm also using my finger because i don't have one of those like beauty blender oh i've seen a lot of people use like a kabuki brush is that what it's called i'm gonna try that so yeah if you're ever in arizona you should definitely try that because i totally recommend and it's pretty healthy. Okay, this is not working. I'm gonna use my finger. Yeah. I'm trying to think of what else we all did last year. Well, the farm we did this year. I'm pretty sure we did the farm this year. Like, before all of this, um, um, all this stuff happened with COVID-19. Do you guys have any traditions that you have with your family? I would love to know. I'm always curious because a lot of people have, like, weekly traditions that they do. Like, my boyfriend's mom, um, Hi, if you're watching this, I know you are. She's a stalker. Just kidding. Um, she, like her and her family, they would always make sauce. Like, they're super Italian. And they always made, like, sauce on Sundays. And I've actually tried the sauce, and it's freaking amazing. They still do that. 
And then I'm trying to think if Dom and I have done a tradition. I guess the gym. We do we go to the gym every day. That's kind of like a tradition. Um Yeah, I don't think we set a tradition for ourselves. It's kind of sad. We need to we need to do one sometime. My camera just cut off. But probably if we ever like end up having kids, we'll um, have a tradition with them. Like Christmas is obviously a tradition. Also, my hands are clean. I just want to put that out there. I probably should have bought a beauty blender. <clears throat> so yeah, um, my boyfriend's mom, her name is Donna. She and her family and her sister Denise, hi Denise, she's also a stalker. Um, JK. They made sauce every Sunday. I feel like I just painted my whole face with this concealer. I really kind of just did, huh? Oh well. Amateur. It's all good. Because I don't do this, ever. And I'm only going to have it on for 10 minutes after this. But it's taken me, what, like, ooh, my contact is like turning. It's taken me 30 plus minutes to get this far. But we're, we're hanging out, we're vibing, talking. At least I hope that's how y'all feel. Um, oh, another bit of interesting news, kind of sad news, <clears throat> but this is going to like, it, it's like going to follow each other. Okay, so you all know Autumn, she's been in the vlogs, um, she actually, so okay, so, I don't know, this is going to be like all over the place. Okay, so I ran track in high school, I wasn't very good at it, but I did my best, you know what I mean? By the way, this is the final look of the concealer. Again, I'm working with a little tiny, you guys can see like it's this big. It's a tiny viewfinder. But I'm gonna go in with this highlighter while I talk to you guys about Autumn. Okay, so I ran track in high school, wasn't very good. Um, kept with it just for that semester and then after the semester I was kind of just like, nah, like we're, we'll go to the gym, we'll run at the gym. Anyway, I never ran at the gym, so I stopped running in general, and um, when I met Autumn uh, at Starbucks, it was actually funny. Ooh, ooh, we are having some issues. There we go. Okay, so... Um, I can never remember what I'm gonna say. I met Autumn at Starbucks. And I had just transferred from another store location because we had moved. And then she transferred from another location because she moved. So I was like, wow. And um, we became best friends like pretty quickly because she was super into working out and I hadn't had a friend that was super into working out. So I, I kind of just like always worked out with Dom and Bryn, obviously, but Bryn left us. So, whatever. So I didn't have any other friend that liked to work out. And one shift, Autumn was like, oh, I'm going to go run after this. And I was like, oh, like, I want to come with you. Like, let's, let's go. And she was like, okay. And we hadn't really talked before. Maybe we had talked before about how amazing of a runner she is but just so you know I went from never running and just lifting weights after track to running like three and a half miles in 48 50 minutes and I feel like this is and I was dying you guys it was so funny she's an amazing runner so she got me super into running 
and she got a gym membership at the gym that I go to. I go to Lifetime. And so Dom and I and Autumn, we all started, like we started carpooling to the gym together. And we would all do cardio before and it was super funny because Dom didn't run either. We normally like our cardio, if we did cardio when we went to the gym, it would be like five minutes on the stair stepper, like 10 minutes of intervals, but we were, rarely did that. Ooh, is this making my nose smaller? I wish. So she actually got us, like it was every single day she was like, all right, we're running, we're running, we're running. So we, we would run every single day for like two months and she like got us back into cardio because we hated cardio which i so thank you for that because you changed our lives with running and we have been running every day um we took we took like a week off because we went to disneyland and then like i got sick and um, but we got back into running, we're doing, we, we did three miles today, or three and a half, or do I have my phone, I can check, because we have our Apple Watch, um, yeah, so 3.82 miles today, in 50 minutes, which is pretty freaking good, and Dom did that too, which is so good, we're getting back into, we started intermittent fasting, so we eat, we kind of like switch it up. So normally we do like 11 to um, 7. And which Autumn got us into that like a, couple, a few weeks ago too. And then um, sometimes we do like 12 to 8. So we just kind of like switch. Hi, Rhea. Hi, Mommy. Come here. You want to be in the vlog? You want to be in the vlog? Come here. Okay, so I think that my makeup is all done. What do you guys think about it? It's not the greatest, but hey, you know, we'll take it. We'll take it for show. Okay, so now I'm going to change into my old homecoming dress. I'm trying to see what heels I have. Okay, I only have black heels, so it's going to be a white dress with black heels, but we'll see how this goes and I'm gonna get his reaction. So, let's do this. Okay guys, this is the final look. I have not worn this dress in five years. I don't even, I could not tell you, but I, oh my gosh, it's so short, I can't believe that. I went out in public like this. I've gained a lot of quad muscle since then. Alright, let's go see. Oh my gosh, the bathroom's like a mess now. Let's go see his reaction. I'm so nervous. I feel like I have to crawl. video I made. When did you get that dress? It's, it was my old homecoming dress. Aww. And I did my makeup. It looks so good. <laughs> you don't have to lie. It looks pretty good. It's better really? than your last attempt. Really? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Aww. Aww. Hi. Do you guys like mommy's outfit? This is my step brother in law. No. Just brother-in-law. Hi, brother-in-law. Hi, you like it? You like it? You're so cute. Moxie thinks you're a different person. She probably does. I don't blame her. Does mommy look different? 
This video was honestly super fun to make, but I kind of made a mess of the bathroom. Will you clean it for me? I'm not going to clean it for you. Please. Can we get Starbucks? No, we're quarantined. Mm. I don't think he fully understands the word quarantine. And we have coffee. All he wants from Starbucks is a cold brew with cream. And we have cold brew and we have cream. I prepared for this. Anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. It was honestly super fun to make, but I can definitely tell you that I will not be wearing makeup for a long time. But it, it I enjoyed this a lot, so maybe I'll do like a bring back that my boyfriend does my makeup thing, because I think that would be super hilarious, but I don't have a lot of makeup, so we'll see. Anyways, like, comment, and subscribe and message me what videos you guys would like to see me do because I'm I'm down for anything. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day.